Alright folks, welcome to Way of the Hunter. Gonna be uh, talking about some herd management today on Nez Pierce Valley. I've got a couple of whitetail and mule deer herds around my lodge. And uh, basically what I'm gonna do is hopefully be able to show you guys the um, herd maturing. So going to be a lot of uh, skipping around and uh, things like that but <clears throat> so as of today the herd is uh, basically uh, got young males young one star males and uh, basically what I'm gonna do see if I can see him from here is I'm just gonna kind of rest and play and uh, kind of show you guys the overall uh, maturing of that herd. So we're going to start off with a rest. I'm going to rest until 11 a.m. Should put them in their water zone. Let's switch this out for the gams, and I'll keep the bow. All right. I got that right. <clears throat> See white tail deer drink at eleven. Mule deer drink at eleven as well. Let's open up our map. They drink there and there. They feed there, but they drink there. They drink there, drink there, drink there. So, theoretically, speaking, we should have deer pretty much all along this river. So let's mark those guys. I believe there's a drink zone there too. All right, without me just rambling on, <coughs> I'm gonna go summon my vehicle and um, drive down there and see what we got. So there's a young mule deer buck. Young mule deer buck. And so kind of while I'm here too, basically what I'm going to do, <coughs> I'm going to do some low fit calls and uh, just see if anything is interested in it because if it is, I'm going to shoot it just to kind of get uh, get that fitness fitness level of the herd up and so kind of while I'll, what I'll kind of touch on that subject too so every herd has a fitness score that the male deer have and it could be anywhere from um, let's just say 0 to 100 percent and every deer has young adult and mature stages so, um, anything over 50% will basically come to a high fitness call. Anything under 
50%, we'll say comes to a low fitness goal. I don't know if that's the exact numbers on that, um, but it should be pretty close. And so all I'm trying to do is basically call lower fitness deer, uh, eliminate them from the herd, and then as time goes on in game, and as we rest, the um, deer will age after so many in-game um, days or so much playtime. And um, then they will hopefully progress into a newer uh, stage or progress from a one-star uh, animal to a, a two-star and three-star and so on. So... <clears throat> that's what I'm doing here I'm just kind of throwing out some uh, calls to see if they respond to these and if any of these deer do not respond that obviously means that they have a higher fitness so young one star young one star young one star okay so, we're a little bit closer. They should hear this. These things have a, about 250 yard range, I believe. And they're not really interested. So, that's a good sign for us. That herd's pretty close to the lodge, so they will be pretty easy to uh, kind of progress and follow. So here we got some white tail. So we have a three star mature male right there. They're 250 yards out. Alright, so what I will do, we've got a couple of young males here. And. This is going to just try to get up here to the edge of this tree and do some calling. I'm going to do some calling and see if I can't uh, get any of these deer that are lower fitness to come into these calls and just get rid of them from the herd. So there was a mule deer herd back there. I missed them. But that's a pretty nice little three star um, buck there. We do have the wind that's not really um, a favorable position. Looks like we have this buck here that's coming in. And uh, I've, I touch on this often. Here's my scent cone I've got coming out. We can see it's going to about here before it is cleared up. So I'm just going to put a marker down right there. Kind of lets me know how far um, before that deer can get to me before it gets spooked. Keep an eye on my call timer. That guy said he was alerted, so. going to kind of turn into a bush here. So only one of those uh, males is coming in, which that's fine. Oh, 
Okay, so he's getting kind of close. I don't want him to get too close to my uh, scent cone over there. Heard a badger. So I'm going to rattle one more time and I'll probably just take him with the bow. Whenever he stops, I'm going to smoke him. <laughs> Dropped him. Alright, so they all spooked anyway. Can't, but I think the wind is okay so I can see that some of those uh, mule deer have matured to a two-star adult and I can see their herd over there so what I'm gonna do is go down here claim this guy and um, Kind of show you what the fitness percentage on him looks like. That was a perfect front shot right through the neck. Through the lungs. No archer in their right mind would probably ever shoot a deer like that in their real life, but I think it would be pretty cool if you had a good enough shot at the front, you know, if you hit them right above the sternum, because you got a lot of vital area. I think they have their head up pretty high. I think that would be a pretty ethical shot, but anywho, so fitness rating, 44%, so that's why he came to that um, low fitness call, so I'm glad we took him. And I'm going to go over here now. I have got a couple of different deer herds. I thought there was a herd over here, but I may have spooked them. Nope, nope, there they are. But they are definitely... Uh, gonna wind me so just gonna see if I can't scope out the herd young male young male young male so we've got three young males over there and then we have a mule deer herd over, over here so I think if I play my cards right, I can split them, and uh, the wind will go right in between us. I see him resting right there. So I'm going to go a little bit farther this way. I know that I have uh, <coughs> heard in uh, somebody else's video that I've watched, and I can't remember if it was Bumblewoot. Uh, he's got some great videos on herd management. 
and just some great videos all around too so shout out to him but I can't remember if it's him or if it was another youtuber that they said that you can't just go and fast travel through your days that you have to um, actually play a little bit or it basically won't let the it won't let you basically speed level the deer so that's good to note so we got some white tail deer off in here I'm basically gonna rattle and we should have some deer coming over this ridge if anything chooses to come in and some deer coming from somewhere over this way so there's kinda no telling what we're gonna see here but So I've got them talking to me from both ways here. Oh, there's a stand right there. That'd be a great spot. But we'll call four or five times and uh, nothing comes into it that I know that that's... Nothing probably will. So that's good. That's what we want. We want to kind of keep those low um, fitness numbers out of the herd. I, from what I understand, that the uh, herd, the higher the fitness score of the males, whenever a new deer spawns in, it's like they're replicating the, those animals breeding with the does. So what you want to do is just eliminate. Uh, the lower fitness animals like I've said before and that will help with your overall fitness of the herd increase and the chances of the deer coming in with a higher percentage uh, fitness and these bucks are grunting up a storm I'm gonna try doing some grunts see what happens. I know I have to saw a uh, buck over here. Hope we didn't have him and lose him. So I see there's a buck right down here. And I'm surprised I didn't hear him on my... That's it. Okay. So we do have one coming in here. I'm going to go ahead and take him. <laughs> oh. We didn't drop him.
He's hurt though. What other guy? That was a one star mature male. Two star mature male. There he goes. I'm just gonna kinda keep an eye on him. Another two star male. So we have we have increased the fitness of this herd here. Um slowly and surely. I have to go down there and see what that blood spatter says. I want to get rid of that one star mature male as well. So I know he's not really bringing anything else to the herd. I could go ahead and do that. Let me see, I think I will. I'll just go ahead and take him. Go claim both of those deer. And that would be a good time for me to fast travel back to the lodge. Kind of reset. And Oh, there he is. I literally just saw you, dude. He son of a gun. Okay. Alright, this should make short work of him. Zoom all the way in so we can see the whites of his eyeballs. He shouldn't go far, that should be a heart shot. Or a double lung at the very least. Excellent. Alright. So now that I've let everything know that uh, <laughs> I'm here, just gonna run down here, check the blood spatter out on this. Uh, Archery deer. Okay, so I did get a good hit on him. He just didn't drop, which is kind of unusual. All this blood.
like the graphics sometimes make it a little bit. Lost my trail. Makes it a little difficult to stay on a trail. Alright, here he is. Caught him a little high, that's why. And we just got artery. And not... No, uh, we got artery and lung, but... Liver and intestine, okay. So 30%, that's what we want. Clean him up. Head up here. Claim this guy. And, um... See what he's at. Barely missed the heart shot. I knew I should aim just a little bit forward. But, alright, overview. Excellent. So, got those two cleaned up. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video and start a part two on herd management. So, if you've stuck around this long, thanks for watching. And um, stay tuned for part two.